Throw Gang, we are joined by the Three Stripe Sultan, third time's a charm, Lauren Schlossman <laughs> and myself, the Khaki King, James Harris. Welcome to the weekly Burning of the Boys with today's full episode only available on <laughs> Patreon.com. <laughs> what can I do to put you in a new pair of khakis today? Throwing fits. Larry, <laughs> how was your week? It's good. It's a bit morose and lugubrious outside. <laughs> That's not a word. <laughs> it's lugubrious. <laughs> um, my week was good. Um, yeah. You and I have been pretty busy. Have we? Um, yeah. What the Maybe you so, more so than me, but I'm, I'm doing well. What about you, buddy? What was, that, what was the last meme you made? Shh, fuck it, bro. Come on, man. I'm curious. Why do you use that as a as this kind of signifier, this qualifier of how much this I mean like to a, this whole operation? Why are we, no, it's not this? how much you mean. It's how much you care, bro. That's oh, what it is. Because well. it's like, it's, it's the, yo, it's the shopping cart test, right? You don't have to make memes for our what's jobs. This, wait, what's the shopping cart test? Oh. When, you, when, you bring, when you're done with the shopping cart in the parking lot, do you bring it back? I put to it the, back. Yeah, 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 I put it back. So. But that's, different. that's, cur- that's a courteous, courteous gesture. Yeah, versus... but putting in an effort for like, the sake of the greater good. Yes, and making Bro, a meme. Bro, we are busy. Don't, how, many, how many fucking sick projects are we working on right now? Yeah, a, a few. Like, <laughs> and they require a few emails. Like, yeah, nice. <laughs> All right. Before we get into the Discord, send going. me some memes. If you guys want to, if you guys want to get a, a hot meme on TF, send it to me, and then it'll make yeah. me look good. And then, and then I'll go to throwitpitspod <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> and then and then your pod and then your or excuse me your meme could make it onto. It's the also fun. Pod. You forget how much fun it is. To, like, I know. I have, you know, I need to be inspired, bro. You know what it is? Honestly, I haven't been smoking weed. I mean, really? I smoked weed recently, but not like having weed at home. Like I'll be smoking socially. But that I think is probably the reason that I've been less. I don't know. I guess, creative. Okay. When, when, you're, when you're scrolling through, you know, your feed, and obviously you're stumbling upon all these memes, you just like chuckle and move on. Is what I oh. assume, right? Well, I mean, unless there's something that I feel like is applicable for like a flip or like our version of, which I sent one to Dunk today. So okay. maybe, maybe I'm doing more like puppet master shit than being in Instagram stories in the trenches, fucking grinding, going to deep with, the, with, the, with the with the erase tool, deepfriedmemes.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, whatever. Anyway, all right, moving uh, on. Before we get into the Discord, having multiple meltdowns this week. <laughs> Nuclear. In the good way. In the good way. Yeah. Thank you, Goots. Um, us becoming the Simone Biles of podcasting. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> not in the way that you wish. Because we're the goats. <laughs> and the absolute horniest summer of all time being an absolute fucking L. Our bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Also, maybe you are having the horniest summer of all yeah, time. Yeah, like, honestly, hopefully you are. There, we'll, we'll get into that fucking sure. macro trend. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's do a little fit check. Yeah, why don't you start us off, Jimmy? All right. So um, you and your khakis. My khakis. I'm on my Kornacki shit. Um <laughs> For the TF Almanac guy, I was wearing uh, Saturday's blue suede loafers on the rooftop. Yeah. Then I got illegal. Wait, those are like velour, aren't they? I think they're velvet. Oh, velvet. Velvet. I think so. I don't know. The velveteen loafer. That was that was like our first like hosted event. How far? That was fun. Wait, was was that what was that? That was just a meet and greet type deal. And it was the first time Chuck tried a oyster. That was that night. Yeah. Wow. All right, it's like five Civ, years ago. <laughs> illegal Civ socks. Thank you, Andrew Tam, for hooking Shout up. Shout out Illegal Civ. Homie with a gigantic box, of some of which did end up in the free uh, <laughs> store down the street. There, we got got on that one. Um, SK Manor Hill pleated khakis. The pleated. Have you worn those before? I feel like when you came out, I was like, I this is a really? new look. I I used to wear these a lot actually. See, that'd be like a good date fit. Nah, I mean the ca- you know? I'm on my you know Balenciaga shit where it's like you know ironic <laughs> office core. Okay. And then um, a leopard print needles western with the raw hem. Oh no, the, it's not a raw hem. Um, and the mother of pearl snap buttons. Beautiful. And Hanes boxers. Nice. Um, I haircut I, by Paul and Mildred, New York Times essential worker. Right. Shout out the shout out the best barber shop in the five boroughs, Mildred. Um, I for white people. I wore cami on boots to the crib, and I think you're disappointed because, like, you have been really ribbing me and getting after me uh, based on my 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 new sambas. No, I've been waiting to <laughs> rib you, lying in wait, yeah, to pa- ready to pounce like a samba. I mean, you've all- <laughs> is a samba a big cat? I don't. What is a samba? It's no, a, it's a style of dance. It's a Brazilian oh, right, dance, right, right, right? right? Yeah, that I think that's it's probably not a, it's not a cat of prey. I don't you like a no. I don't think so. What am I thinking? Oh, sable. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't also, is a sable even a big cat? It's or like it a, a fish. It's a mid-sized, mid-sized sedan. Sable's a fish. Did you see Stop that? Stop it on my pillow. Did you, well, it's just the lint, um, and I'm fidgeting. But I'm actually, actually, okay, keep doing that. That's yeah, I'm good. actually doing your yeah. service. Did you see, uh, I know you went to, the, we're going to talk about going to the movies. Did you contemplate even seeing the M. Night Shyamalan movie old? No. But there's, and listen, whatever, I just read the Wikipedia plot. If it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie, I'm going to read the fucking... I'm going to just get to the twist. Okay. I'm not going to pay to fucking What's see What's the it. twist? You get the beach makes you old? 
I don't want to spoil it. Should I do a spoiler? You was wanna... everyone just fucking wrinkly? For... Uh, do it behind the paywall. We're right, right, like right. Five minutes. The, the, the point paywall. I was trying to make is that there's a rapper character who's named Midsize Sedan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you saw Twitter latching onto that one, but no. uh, I did see. Uh, that's every, what the sable all reminded the old me memes, of. All the old memes, which right. are now old at this point. Um, no the, pun intended. The, not yeah. trying to see an M Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah. All right. Well, so let's. So so I wore camo boots. I didn't wear my. So I. So okay. I have nothing to apologize for. But no, you don't. But to be clear to to the throw gang at home, I did purchase two pairs of sneakers, which which are definitely the first sneakers I've bought in. I would say like multiple years, years, right? Both of which were Sambas. One of one of which I bought on StockX. I bought the Wales Bonner Sambas that I've been wearing that you've mm, been seeing, and then from Fight Flight Flight Club, I bought the uh, white and collegiate green Sambas. And this some this makes you feel some type of way. I'll say this: when you chase a trend, you chase a trend. Well, we'll get into it. Well, or you want to get into it right now? Yeah, let's do it right now. I guess my thing is like, yo, uh, Samba's obviously. I've never been as anti Adidas. I feel like as you have been. Really? Where when Drake said, you know, checks over stripes, that was it for you. I wouldn't right? say that's it. I've but still held on. Yeah, as, yes, absolutely. I've still held on to my um, Raf Stan Smiths, courtesy of mm-hmm. the plug yeah. Frankie, who's now the NB plug. Um, yeah, major fucking glow up. Uh, <laughs> I have a few, a pair of Hamburgs. Okay. Some navy blue ones. Is that like a Spezial type shoe? Um, it's similar to Samba. Okay. It's I like an indoor soccer the, I think shoe. the tongue is less Football. Ag- the tongue is less aggressive. It's not on some Rick Owen shit. Yeah, well the new they'd make a Samba now that like the Samba OG has that chopped tongue. But anyway. The leopard ones from N Clothing. Right. right? Sure. Those what are models that campuses. Yeah. Those are campuses. Those are fire. And then I think that's it for Adidas. But I was never I was also always like as a fucking ugh, I'm a contrarian. Well, that's my personality. Well, I was never like when I was not like Adidas Nike. to some degree, I feel like. The Yeezy brand, I think, like kind of at least made Adidas fall a couple at least the version that really I think now. that I Yeezy know. and Adidas, much like Kanye and Kim, divorced <laughs> at a moment that if Adidas had stuck around, probably would have done the brand more dirty. But also like you know, fucking mainstream America is still rocking 350s and Adidas. Like, they're still printing right, right, off, totally. off yeah, Yeezy. And, Sorry, off Yeezy. Right. Um, and I guess my point is that that very fact is what kind of, you know, notch, uh, knocks Adidas down a couple pegs or notches in my mind. And look, I know that Samba, it's this, like, nostalgia thing. Yes. Right? It's when you were... Uh, I was a, a footballer. Svelte, a svelte footballer. Footballer. Just flopping all over the cul-de-sac. Just, just absolutely, you know, fucking Samba-ing around playing the beautiful doing? game. I was the a defender. Oh damn! It was like a right back. So you were like not not the star. I played forward for a little bit, and I just had this <laughs> too much running. I had this no, I had this moment because uh, I played not just in high school, but I played on a bunch of club teams um, that were pretty good. I mean, soccer is pretty popular. I mean, obviously <laughs> in North Jersey specifically, but I missed an open goal as a forward, oh, and it was just a really embarrassing, terrible moment. And I think that at that moment, I played a stopper for a while, which is kind of like is a goalkeeper, kind of like a more defensive central midfielder role. Okay. I don't think it's a term that like you know anyone like uses now, but I played that, but mainly like a, a right back. It was a big, more big, like a uh, bigger dude, get some headers. I fucking broke a kid's leg. I've told this story on the podcast before yeah, that he man. got carried out on a stretcher. I absolutely did. Did you feel bad? I felt terrible, bro. I'm not a fucking, uh, that would have been my s- shit, maybe sophomore year of high school. How'd you do it? You we, both, we both went up for a header, and I didn't like intentionally like submarine him, but I, I we careened into each other, oh, and then he, and he wrong. fell down. Fucking, oh, that's his. Fault. He was down bad. He had the he was fucking. The game was stopped. They had to get an ambulance. Pull his ass out on a stretcher. Not great. That's not your fault. Also, by the way, I don't know if I broke his leg, but I injured his leg. I'm assuming I broke it, fractured it, whatever. Not your fault. Um, my point. Don't, don't be too hard. Yourself. I would like to defend myself again. I don't, I don't know why I'm like feel like I need to defend myself to throw game or you. I will say, Drake. It's not that Drake influenced me. I've always had this. Like and I love gazelles. I love sambas. I love a forum low, a campus. Like there's good specials, classic styles. I just haven't worn them a lot recently. With that said, I feel like sambas are having a moment. I'm not above being influenced, right? Like Jer- well, Jeremy always would say something that I've taken to heart, which is like, yo, there's never been a trend that he would, this is him speaking, that he didn't want to try, that I didn't want to try. I agree. I like to experiment or go back to things, and Sambas are having a moment for sure. They're everywhere, and I'm trying to tap back in. So I bought two pairs. I guess my thing is that you you have been very, and it's true, and this is one of the reasons why I like you, is that you're hey. so fucking... You know, like balls to the wall. Like you'll go a yeah. hundred miles an hour at whatever you think is like you believe in at the time. The drawback to that <laughs> is then you fucking flippy floppy and you come off cowardly. Just a dog chasing a chasing cars. Yes. Yeah. 
going to do with it? <laughs> um, <laughs> Once I get the Sambas. Very pathetic moment. I started watching The Joker by myself last night. Had you seen it? Wait, Joker. Joker. No. Had you seen it before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's not. That I like good. fast forwarded to like when he like becomes the Joker. There's a lot of build up that's just like really sad it's, and pathetic. Yeah, it's really fucking. It's, it's not really very scary. good. We're, we're gonna get into whole movies. My, my thing is 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 that you're very very adamantly, and I'll follow your lead on stuff where it's like, oh, I guess this is our bit now. Where you're like, it's very anti Adidas, and I, like nothing happening in Nike or Adidas like excites me. Sure, excites us. Period. Right. Um. So, but when you flippy floppy, and then you fucking go. Head over heels. Strong literally. opinions loosely held. Yeah. Uh, loose link, loose trends, loose lips, <laughs> loose belief systems sink ships. Okay. It's just like, I'm just like, wait a second, like, Lawrence, how can I? Do you not have any conviction? Oh, do you not have any on. honor? Like, how can I trust <laughs> that? Uh, you think I have no honor? If you're all about this fucking, you know, mechanic shit, that next. <laughs> you're also like on That's your hashtag menswear shit. And I understand that, you know, uh, people contain multitudes. Sure. Right? Um, but it's just very funny that you are so gung ho. Where you're like, Adidas is fucking whack. Adidas <laughs> sucks. And then, I don't know, maybe you stumble across a Zood board. Maybe you see Bob Marley playing soccer in Adidas, like in the fucking right. early 80s. ASAP Nass talking about how he invented sweater vests. He invented sambas. <laughs> so then it's just, I'm just, it always just makes me raise a fucking eyebrow. And eventually okay. I'm going to forget about it, but I'm just like, oh, that's right. Lawrence, you look at his style history, especially the style history they put together on your last day at Complex Media, now owned by BuzzFeed, <laughs> formerly owned by Verizon, a telecom, telecommunication cell phone company. Um, I'm just. I'm, oh. It reminds me that you have had many style phases, and some see, may see that as a positive, and some <laughs> might see that as a fucking as yellow belly, as kizzy, weak spined, <laughs> fucking you know, Jesus. Uh, just bend to the yeah. will of the rulers. Well, the, if you remember when we did a juicy zoomy, and you like had your complete pick of the litter of like any right. picture of me that ever existed, you the pick of flyers. <laughs> No, well, not that. That was for a check. No, you picked when I wore Tom Brown Adidas track pants, and I'm wearing gazelles because of oh. like the stripes. And you, but li that's not that long ago. That is, I had some Adidas in the war. I've had Adidas in my wardrobe my entire life. It's something that I'm tapping back into. I'm not trying to say that I invented it. I'm not ASAP Nast. I'm not above the fucking influence. It is something that when we did the core four reunion and we were taught, we were finally putting to bed the sneaker that you would most like to fuck thing. Even then, that was what, like a month ago or whatever, I went with Samba because of the nostalgia and I had a very galaxy brain take and I feel like that's just coming through now in a couple errant purchases, maybe at, at, at worst. All right, I mean, as, as the post sneaker world, actually we're on the fucking cusp and we're seeing it be- Hold on, hold on. We're seeing want, the normies I'll, I'll, grab onto it. Now is when you choose to go back to your childhood sneakers. Well, very interesting. Very want, millennial. Very well, very uh, adult baby of you. One, one point- very boss baby. <laughs> clearly, you feel some type of way, and you- It's not the Adidas. It's not the Adidas. It's the- It's, the, it's, it's what the, the, the message behind the Adidas? It's the weak, what it means? The weak-spindedness of, of you. Okay. Well, the flip side of that is that I keep people guessing, and I will say the best <laughs> thing about- posting my latest you know samba purchase was people dming me being like oh man they must have cut the check i was like well little do you know this actually cost me a pretty petty and listen clearly i'm keeping motherfuckers on their toes Literally. it's always nice <laughs> yeah it's always nice to kind of keep the clones guessing yeah but it's we'll also it like they're like oh you've been so adamantly anti this Not that the really, only way you could have come around is if somebody fucking dangled a hundred bucks <laughs> in your face. <laughs> okay, okay. That's his rate, by the way. A hundred bucks for a Fitbit. <laughs> okay, also... How's your, how are your feet, though? Speaking of toes, let's do a little trench foot update. A little trench foot check. So, both <laughs> big toe nails completely fell off. Completely so died like, and fell off. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, it's not... They don't... They don't, <laughs> they don't hurt, but we're definitely in... A rebuilding phase right what, now. Uh, We're trusting the process. Wait, so is it just like soft flesh? Soft well, undernail flesh? What I guess happened was... <laughs> I mean, this is we're gonna. This is very gross. Are we past... Yeah, we're pa way past the preview. Are you going to show your... No, 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 I don't want to show because it is pretty gross. They, they Yo, look like I'm, some... I'm glad you're wearing black socks because you were wearing white socks last week and by the end of our pod, <laughs> there were yellow... I, I looked down... <laughs> you, I, did I point this out? Or I like know, two, but I, I don't want you to be public with it. Oh, yeah, it sorry. was gross. Well, yeah, there were two like moon, <laughs> fucking half moons of it Lawrence's was. where Lawrence's to big toenails were, and it was just yellow on white. So, so, <laughs> so I guess what happened with the Loewe loafers is not so much that like like the nails like separated and like over the course of the week separated. <laughs> well, they, the 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 toenail from the itself foot, separated from the, from the flesh. from the nail bed. So, so to your point now, like it looks a little like. David Cronenberg, like 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 a body horror to some degree, but they're already growing in. 
So when it's like so a, they're saying from the bottom. Well, I don't know how nails grow. No, I'm just saying that it's not like completely raw and bloody. Like they're not even bandaged and they don't hurt. They just don't Are look they sticky. Great. No, they're not sticky now. We're past that was just last week, clearly. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's the listen, I fucking put my body on the line for the only podcast that matters, and you're fucking your entertainment, your fucking entertainment. You should have worn at sambas to the barbecue. <laughs> And honestly, I would have worn the Sambas today so that we could have really dug into it. But, you know, again, it's not the best. It's raining right now. It's spritzing right now. Why don't you? And, oh, and can I, should I say how much I paid for the Wells Bond or Sambas? Oh, why sure. don't you take a guess? Why don't you? T- I don't know. Two fifty. Yeah, I, I paid like yeah. all, all, all right. in with, after shipping to 300 bucks. OK. And then the other pair that, that are more that were general release, but I guess sold out because it is like Zood boarded out. Those were one ninety. Should I look up? what? Damn, uh, dude, I almost spent. You almost spent five hundred dollars on sambas. Sheesh! Damn, That's maybe I am rich. I don't know what. What are you the looking last for? Time, the last time, like a StockX receipt. The last time I bought something. Well, you I've sell never... you. So you flip your you flip flow on StockX. I flip my flow on grill. Why do you use StockX, by the way? Just to like. Uh, just instant. It's just instant money. Oh, I thought it was to, to make sure there's no like paper trail because like honestly, people could. Pr- I hope no fucking homies that have sent me free stuff that I've ultimately flipped are. But and you know honestly, for me what, said I'm not trying to find a buyer, and and also sure. God forbid that buyer be like, yo, actually, like right. I was doing a fucking deep mission. I found you're the fucking rat. Yo, speaking of rats, you ever hear the story of Nick Grant getting he got busted by a plug for? Because yeah. I guess with StockX, it's like they they scanned the barcodes. He got like removed. He became like persona non grata, and I forget what the what the brand was. And I hope I'm not putting on blast, but he got got through like barcodes on stock Bro, you ever hear about the um <laughs> beauty editor that got busted by like like literally charged by a charged by a cosmetics or by a perfume company because they're like you th- we're giving you samples and that is proprietary information oh, that is shit. our intellectual property that you are now selling on ebay and our competitor or anyone could buy right it, and then reverse engineer it right and make our expensive shit so those were like exclusive early samples of fragrances so she that got, were unreleased or they wanted to charge her with like f- like fraud and like get like the fbi involved Jesus i think they were just like scared the her. fbi doesn't have anything better to do no one to assassinate the date was <laughs> september 10th 2001 yeah um <laughs> The, my final point was one of the reasons I like using Grail is honestly, like if a th- uh, someone from Throw Gang like connects with me, it's easy to like give someone a deal and know that it's going to a good home because that's of course I want the money. I'll do Grail with I'll do Grail with go- with clothes, but StockX yeah. is sneakers because like they send you the they well first of all they fucking you know, just like Grail they rape you on the fees and everything. Sorry, they are worried <laughs> you on the fees and everything, but then it's they just well, send you the, they send you the fucking. Uh, print shipping label, right, 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 just right. drop it off, and like you're good, and like you get the money before anyone has to buy it. With Grail, stuff can sit. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, StockX so pays it, you. Really? As soon as it gets to StockX and they verify it or whatever, oh, you're like getting paid. Seconds, the they, money's unlocked. They dump the money into your PayPal or on Venmo. Because I was gonna say with Grail, it's like as soon as someone buys it, it's like if your PayPal verified, whatever, it's just instantaneous as well. So. Yeah, but then you got to fucking like. Uh, whatever. When someone anyway. b- also, because it's a person, I feel bad. I want to like go buy it, but I'm all busy all week, fucking making fire sure. memes and everything. Right, you know? right, right. I guess my point is that I love connecting with Throw Gang, so that even though I'm getting paid, obviously, and I'm clearing out space with all this fucking flow that you and I get. A lot of times that we don't necessarily want. We're just like not trying to be rude to somebody who's trying to be generous to us. But like, I just love something going to a good. I heard home. you just thirsted after some flow. Oh, right. I, you know, it's funny because I was gonna. <laughs> yeah. s- Bro, I was going to save this because I have been making memes. You're so fucking thirsty for John. <laughs> Buying them, thirsting for them. Well, I was going to save this because I was like, all right, I had a little, I wanted to kill you with kindness because I knew you were going to be mean to me like you always are about some shit. And I that was wasn't gonna, like, mean to you. That was, was stating gonna, facts that you have bro. a fucking soft spine. That's it. <laughs> you're, I'm a yellow you're, belly you're, piece of shit. Your toes and your belly are both <laughs> yellow. <laughs> um, I will say that one of my favorite things to ever happen um, in our relationship is whenever I get influenced by you to cop jobs. How does it Because I would say it happens, you know, twice a quarter. Who else influences you? Zood boards? No, Paul I don't New- know. My friends. My friends and, I don't know, f- reference images, my sure. friends, whatever. We don't need to go into the whole thing. But um, last week, so obviously you and I are familiar with this brand, Basic Rights, in the UK. Oh, and this gross. is me trying to kill you with kindness because, again, I, I do. And obviously I think... It's very clear if you listen to the Mick and Khan industry episode. They were the ones. Those are their boys. They've done content with them. They've been on Flow Team. They shouted them out. They put us on. We got some knit polos uh, based on that uh, that initial connection, and it was great. And I was like impressed, but it, I wasn't. I didn't really like understand necessarily where the brand was coming from. But then seeing the shirts that you got 
from them and you were wearing, I believe, in the Fit Pick last week, I was like, wait a second. I got to tap back in. And I was blown away by the spring Which summer is funny because like the, their publicist hit me up, and I assume that she just hit you up separately um, for your flow. Oh, on like, personals or through TF? No, no, on personals. Interesting. Um, and she put you on flow before. She must have just like just that nip polo that didn't really fit. Same. So, so then she reached it. out, uh, and she's reached out on some other stuff, and be like, "Sorry, not for me." Blah, right, blah, let blah. me let me let me read the thirst on IG because it's is, pretty funny. Wait, so you did so the brand? So I saw you oh killing God. it so hard, and then I went on the site. Thank you. And and I was I looked at um, the newest collection because you were like, yo, they got some new Western shit. And that's why I thought I thought that she'd reach out to you. and I was like, yo, they got some new Western shit. Don't sleep on it. It's actually good. It's your shit right now. And I was so impressed by what I saw that uh, the the time that I was smoking weed recently out socially, (laughs) I was I was with Teddy. Uh, we were smoking weed in, in his in his Range Rover outside of you know you know big fucking flex alert. And he was asking the coffee shop. And we were talking about. We were talking about tailoring and how he was excited about figuring out like what exactly is ALD's version of tailoring, kind of probably what was similar to what they do with Drake's, right? But just bringing that in-house, and they do stuff with Martin Greenfield too, but just like the extension of that. And he was like, what kind of excites you? And I was like, yo, it's so funny you say that. I was like, look at this fucking sleazy, sexy tailoring from both. I showed him Second Layer, Mm. which he was familiar with, and then Basic Rights, which he was not. And I guess Basic Rights is very much a UK thing. And that's how impressed I was that I was bringing that to the fucking God. But anyway, I went on the site. I was blown away. I literally hit them up. This is Friday, 9 (laughs) a.m. Early. Yo, lads. (laughs) Wait, how many O's? (laughs) One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn, that's how you know he Yo, means it. Oh, lads, I saw James wearing the Canyon shirts you sent him yesterday because we had just potted. And they looked smashing! Exclamation mark. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me tapping in and letting you know I'm a fan too. Exclamation mark. They said, hey, John, and then it gets into oh, all right. And I was like, uh, feel Yo. free to call me Larry. I'm not going to read the whole conversation, but I will say that they said that. How, they much, how much did you ask for? For free. <sighs> Okay, this is where it gets embarrassing too. Yeah, they said when you are not afraid to fucking ask for numerous. Okay, numerous. Hey, songs. John, thanks for getting in touch. Glad to hear you're a fan. We would be happy to send you a couple of pieces. Is there anything in particular you're interested? A in? A couple is two. I said yes. I'm aware. I said not to sound <laughs> greedy or anything. What? But Here there we really go. is so much to love. The Nevada shirt, oh the rain God. shirt, the El Paso shirt, the rodeo shirt, the Sonic really Ranch like- shirt, the Canyon shirt, and the suiting. Is absolutely fucking Yo, killer. They should have hit you with the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, I read all that. I'm sorry for your. I'm sorry that that happened or happened or, for or you. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Um. But anyway, I want to give credit where credit <laughs> is due because Did you get all that. No, you I don't, don't know. Yet. No, no. So they said they're gonna. They said we're gonna send you some bits. So like, they're gonna let you know when <laughs> some when bits the, and bobs when, when, the, when the bits are when the bits and bobs are in route. Um. So I don't know. I listen. Do I think they're gonna send me a suit that sport coat's like five hundred bucks? Probably not. I would love. A suit and one of like the canyon shirts that you have yeah. to get on some real like fucking you know basically. Well, they're already su- out of a lot of sizing. So like no, no, no yeah. So but a lot of it is that. the new shit, unlike the knit stuff that we got, I think runs a bit slimmer. So I'm, I mean, not vanity sizing. So I think I'm like XL, and there might be some stuff available. No, basic rights is definitely gas. I just crossed. Love the color, the color that they're doing the season. Um, and those yeah, like honestly, fit. those were like when I saw those, I would literally like I'm like this is a fucking. But I showed you what I got. I mean, I wore the you wore you, should, you have you have blazing pink, right? No, like a burgundy, like oh, a, like a like an aubergine. But those canyon shirts, the short sleeve ones with those color pops, bro, that's a date shirt. That's a, like when we go to this party this Friday. Woo. I could see that. I wear it tomorrow, except I gotta wash it. Yeah, oh, are you stinky? Are you coming to this party? Do I have to fucking do I have to get I chef we'll to t- Facetime you to? We can talk about force it. Starts to come at out eleven again? p.m. Bro. All right, it is unofficially Dime Square. Wait, I'm not here. even done with my fit oh, check. God damn. <laughs> Uh, uh, Nike, black Nike socks in the feet. This is a fit check. To hide my disgusting toes. I'm in vintage Levi's 501s. I'm in the Haynes Wife Pleaser. Uh, shout out my boy Cole. Oh, I guess we should, also, we should also just, uh, <laughs> let's just drop next week's guest is Amrit. Amrit oh, yeah. Well, it's already uh, on social only. too. Yeah. yeah, it's on socials, but um, we, we put her onto Wife Pleaser, not Wife B. Right. Well, beater, you, beater. Uh, you said rape earlier. Yeah, no R word. Um, no, the R word is my R word, yeah, not your the- R word. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Amrit on the pod. Yo, Wait, have a lot you of, seen? A lot of, of sex, a lot of sex and dating, a lot of juicy sex talk. Have you seen coming out of our slurp holes? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the young thug uh, a video that's going Tiny around desk? where he goes, "I don't call my ops ops. Honestly, man, I call them retards." Have you seen that? No, I haven't. <laughs> Shout out the baby, by the way. Just another fucking black man whose people are the uh. people are trying to silence, but terrible opinions. Um, unlike Thugger, who maybe is just you know using Yo, his the tiny desk, in the wrong his way. His tiny desk. Um, oh, I didn't like it. Concert, really. It's what, too much Travis Barker for you? No, I don't want I don't want Thug. So one of the songs he performed 
is was a snippet that was out, and this version that is out. I'd rather. Here's the thing: not to be a dick and not like shut up and rap, which honestly is what people are. That's all he the baby did. All he did was fucking rap. No, but it's. I don't want. I want fucking drum and bass. I don't. Or not drum and bass. The genre, but I don't want the fucking. I don't want riffs, and I don't want fucking. You know, rock punk. and roll. Yeah, you yeah. don't want. You don't want like a live band. Did you like uh? What is this? What is beautiful thugger girl? What was that record? The country record. Did you like that? Not really, but right. I, so. But but hold on. So uh. I think a live band backing a rapper was a lot more common at live shows like back in the day. And then Jay Z before- was a big proponent of live band shit. Well, for yes, a while he, too. you know, shout out Chester Bennington, R.I.P. Dead Bitch. Um, but no, I just mean like with 99 Problems, like performing that live at yeah, like no, it was Last and Berry. It was almost the like de facto way to do it. And you haven't seen that in a minute. And I actually really like it. But you it want as a studio to album of, of punk. Songs with him rapping over. That's not no, bro. The studio, the albums. I know it's called punk. The no, album's no, not no, going to no. be a fucking live backing band. No, no. Is that what it's going to be? I don't think it's going to be live. I, I think they're th- going to be recorded fucking guitar. I don't think bass so. and drum tracks. I really All don't right. think so. I mean, I hope not. I and mean, if so, like that would. Suck. That's my point. I really what I'm think saying that's gonna is the live <laughs> video. We're talking about the live concert yeah. video. I'm not talking about anything else, sure. Lawrence. Uh, you've talked about basic rights for 25 minutes. <laughs> I can talk about Thug for 30 seconds. Um, was fire. That's it. What's your shirt? Uh, shout out my boy Cole Young, was aka Metal Thick Owens, and his brand Metalwood. And then I have on uh, shout out Luther Black when my father in law got the got the fucking straight petrol Phillips sixty six hat. Is that the only John you stole from him? Well, no, no, I didn't steal. He gave it to me. Okay. But that's the only one. Again, great taste. That was but the we're, not really the, <laughs> we're not really the same size, unfortunately. Um, and I guess finally, a half an hour in, that's a complete fit check. And then yeah, just finishing off the fat tires. Shout out fucking Chip Hop Hooray. Um, honestly, bro, you want to make a bet? Let's make a bet. I bet you the punk record will be like Young Thug being his fucking disruptor ass self, which is great. Uh, but unfortunately, I think that means it's going to be a pop punk record with him rapping with like uh, M- over well, like, like the MGK record. Y- yeah, but not s- singing one, pop that, punk, but like rapping. One, right. Um, I don't know if you want to bet on that, but I'm almost positive. Why would we bet on that? I don't, I don't know, know. Just to that. like have some stakes in the game. But I'm telling you, I, I'll I'm bet you a basic right shirt since you have 19 <laughs> of them coming your way. But I, I just have a, I have a sneaking suspicion, one that is uh, unfortunately. But you know they do that with every Tiny Desk concert. Anytime there's a rapper, there's a live back. I know band. that, bro. I'm just saying. All that right. You know, I think seem this like is. It. No, the record called Punk, I think, is going to be him rapping over fucking punk tracks. I don't want that, personally. And obviously, Thugger is a legend and the GOAT, and he you know, inspired a generation of fucking rappers, and he's going to do whatever he wants. But like about the country record, we were talking about, I just that's not what I necessarily am, I am gravitating towards All right. when it comes to Thugger. Tugger, Tugger. Tiny Desk Concert was gas. Maybe I'm the op. Maybe I'm the retard. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All who's right. keeping who's keeping our, so uh, what were you saying to have a little dinging like a little r word counter yeah. and i know that a lot of people uh, hate when i do that so i'm sorry yeah, myself but, you included know, i'll say it vocally to you don't say that word some sometimes sometimes the oppor- sometimes the opportunity presents itself sometimes the op presents itself <laughs> all right uh yeah i guess we're gonna fucking go out and party again like it's yeah like it's a month ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically where I, I so you're definitely coming to this party i think so yeah i'm gonna already be out anyway so. it's fucking it's dime square week here in the throwing fits uh <laughs> hq we had goots on the pod she killed a fucking Lovely lady. The best. The, Love her. I forget what I called her. I don't know. Media mogul. Mini media mogul. The new Mona Lisa. She's a micro media mogul. Yeah. She is. Yeah, the princess uh, of print. Right. The, the queen fucking, of Dime Square. The uh, if, if she may speak freely, nasty like the freaky deaky, it's your local kiki speaky. Oh, there he is. Yo, honestly, bro, you need to fucking. That's MF Doom. How? M- oh, okay. Who played live with a band, by the way. All right, so. All right, Pete to the fucking villain. Where's my mask at? Um, back there. Question for you. Uh, are we. So like the di- so they just, so also by the way so this will come out well this is Thursday they just had a profile another profile come out in Vanity Fair yeah the Drunky Canal specifically is this Dime Square moment is this like typical like also low key I think that Gucci's afters might have been our best yet oh I mean that's what the reception seemed like so uh, while well, everyone listening to this is a patron but if you don't listen to the afters check out Gucci she talks a lot about seafood towers and her vagina <laughs> um, which is beautiful shit uh, my question for you and that this should is- be the name of the thug con- uh, thug album yeah seafood, seafood towers, towers and vagina. <laughs> Um, and this is uh, as loaded as a question will ever be. Is this us being like, how do you do fellow kids a bit with Dime Square? Since that moment has passed a bit. I'm not saying the content wasn't good because it was stellar. So like always, but he- here's the window. Maybe. Okay, here, no, no. Here's what I'll say is that, yes, like, are we fucking latching on to the uh, <laughs> Dime Square Drunken Canal? And it's like absolute fucking blast off. That shit is already kind of passed, right? Now they're like hopefully Cresting. entering a new. Uh, they're hopefully entering like a new uh, yeah. layer of outer space or whatever, like you know, Lord Bezos. 
And this was the issue that a lot of people, when they first saw that it was Drunken Canal, Goots in the cord, were like, oh, Drunken Canal, that shit's fucking stupid. Fuck right. that, Times Square. Blah, blah. Not and everyone like, lives in New York, bro. And for me, it's like, yo, I, say. I don't give a fuck about like what you think about Dime Square, Drunken Canal. And like, I'm not like s- that obsessed or into it. I've read, I couldn't even read the article, to be honest. Like, oh, yeah. the print was too small for my old man eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um,. But it's like, yo, we're here to fucking focus and have a good time with the people. And do I <laughs> love all these people in this micro universe where they're, the amount of people, it's 1,326 yeah, exactly. people. Because that's the <laughs> amount of followers each of these pe- motherfuckers has. <laughs> no, but I love Goots. I love Big Walt. Um, there's some other folks in that fucking scene, as you keep calling it, that it's like, I'm not even going to try and engage with the scene. I'm just excited to go hang out with like Goots, Walt, Liam McSweeney sure. at this party. And that's, I think, is like... The humanist versus, like, the fucking um, anthropological. Right? Interesting. Where it's like, you're just trying to connect with the person on a one-on- one-on-one basis, two-on-one right. basis. Which is what we versus do for a living, like, obviously. Versus yeah. being like, yo, we're part of this scene, which is absolutely not the case. Is Servo's one of the best restaurants in New York City right Facts. now? Yes. Absolutely. And I would, honestly, we should try and go. Yeah. It's so fire. Do they um, take resis or? They don't take resis. So you get to, like, show up, Bruh. put your name down, and then, like, go drink for an hour yeah. and then come back. But it's so fucking good. So what you're saying is that, like, any kind of, like, sneak, uh, the little voice that I have in the back of my head or the sneaking suspicion that people are going to, like, judge us for being, like, fucking old heads trying to, like, tap into a scene that has passed us by, you don't, that's, I mean, we're not, trying think- to, we're not trying to tap into the scene, I don't think. It's like, yo, we don't, we're fucking going to a party, and I <laughs> hope that there's, do- like, doc, well, uh, I hope that there's food <laughs> served at this party venue. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a list, so don't worry. Because the food there but is also, also don't fire. don't try to assassinate us. Yeah, well, please do. Um, and also, and the reason that this is even fucking so uh, you know, front of mind for me is because then you also went on the newest Dime Square podcast, Wet Brain. Which, yeah. by the way, great performance. Thank I you. Which, it. again, was Walt just being like, big Walt. Just And I've hit him. I'm like, yo, Walt, we're going to hang out. Like, independent of fucking... And he's I said, wearing the fuck out of the shorts. Oh, he's a huge supporter. We yeah. talked about them. He's like, I love, I love the cut. I can't do... His, I, I love the cut. Is that... Well, it's maybe slower. I, I love, love the, the cut, cut of your shot. <laughs> That's not it. As pilled out as a sober person could be. That's yeah, big exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's been pill-pilled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um... What was I saying? Yeah, so he's just like, yo, you want to come on? I was like, sure. What do you want to talk about? And then he's like, I'll call you in five minutes and we'll do the podcast. He's like, I'll call you in an hour. And then oh, he an called hour, me okay. like in an hour and a half. Um, and you hit me up about Honor. Well, like, he's like, <laughs> he's like, yo, we're going to ask you some summer style tips on my co-host Honor. I was like, oh, cool. And you had mentioned her on With the Goots, Goots pod yeah. to like try and seem cool? or because like, Definitely know try to seem okay. cool for sure. I'm, uh, by the way, I'm just projecting. I'm talking about myself this whole time. I was like, yo, who? I was like, Larry, who is this? Like, I can't find her. Honor Instagram. Levy. Levy? Whatever. And you're like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I said Dime Square Personality Substack Writer. Yeah. So I tried to find her Instagram. I couldn't find her Instagram. Walt sent it to me, but I forgot to look it up. So I was like looking through her shit um, on While the you were doing it, yeah. Which like I do like the format of the podcast. They just call up their homies and they kind of ask like what they're about, what they're into, or what we they're could doing, do like, that there. with this. Or I don't know. You well, and the I quality talk. sucks. The quality yeah. fucking sucks. And I was a little nervous, so I listened. Um, I never listened to podcasts, but I listened to theirs. They have great intro music. Oh yeah, uh, custom. So, yeah, it's just like it's like industrial. Person. Better than Weedus. <laughs> it's an industrial like wet. It's a guy yelling wet brain over and over, <laughs> but it's so distorted that like you can't understand it. And then it kind of comes into focus. Right. 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 Um, okay. And I was like listening to these people, and I was like, "Damn, all these people are laconic as fuck." You had good energy. Am I going to come off like too much, too upper, or too normy? Too yeah, too like too fucking puppy dog. You're not an intellectual. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, but it was like whatever. I just wanted to like talk to Walt because I like Walt, and I think what he, whatever he's doing is yeah. fucking funny. Maybe he'll be there Friday. Maybe we'll see him. No, he's not going to be there. Oh, he's not. He's like, I don't go. He's like, I don't. He go doesn't out. go out anymore. Well, that's what he said. The is last that one. why he started a podcast? Because <laughs> he doesn't but go that, out anymore. But yo, so then I, so I finally found like I was scrolling through Honor's thing, and she like is her Instagram, her Instagram, and then she like is reposting all these like selectual accounts. Mm-hmm. But then the selectual accounts have like fried versions of themselves, and then it's like all these fucking other accounts that have like forget one thousand three hundred twenty seven followers. They have like. 327 followers, <laughs> yeah. and then, like, those accounts are, like, re- it's just this fucking, It's like, a weird world. It's this Daniel Craig vehicle, Lair Cake, which, by the way, <laughs> fucking sucked. I watched what? that. I watched on your recommendation. That shit was Bro, so bad. are you kidding me? It was oh just, try- it was so bad. It was just trying to, Sienna Miller, yes. It was just trying to be Snatch, which is now available on Amazon Prime, which I'm going to watch wait, tonight. Wait, 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 You're telling me, you know that Daniel Craig only became, only got cast as James Bond because of his performances. Wait, you're telling me you didn't like Layer Cake? It was too. It was trying too hard to be. Were you on your phone? Were you on your phone, or did you really watch it, James? Well, I didn't have the subtitles on. 
I was on my what? phone when it started to fucking suck. So oh like 20 minutes God. in, yeah, I was I on my phone. I can't do with you, bro. I can't. Uh, we, bro, anytime it's like, oi, we're bringing in Donnie. <laughs> and then they just bring in Donnie. And like, who the fuck is Donnie? And then it turns out he's like a major character. Like, Donnie's bringing in Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> By the way, there is nobody named Brian or Donnie in this movie. <laughs> We're bringing in a hot, hot Sal. It's like it was trying to. So it clearly, was trying to be snatch. He's trying to be Guy Ritchie, and it wasn't. Clearly, he's was trying to be Rock and Roller. <laughs> First of all, Rock and Roller came out after Layer Cake. Rock and Roller, fire <laughs> <laughs> You just want Guy Ritchie. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be so Layer Snatch Cake, night. like selectual accounts, you clearly are not. Well, I, I felt in You're not hole. based. You're not based or red pilled or edge lord enough to get well, it. I, I came to this conclusion. <laughs> You're I think not chopped or quirked up enough. or skitzed enough. <laughs> I came to this conclusion a while ago, even at Complex, when I became like senior enough where I wasn't in the fucking streets anymore. Yeah, and I was mud. like, yo, I don't. Or what, when fucking when like when. Uh, the generation like after Thug was like popping. I was like, I don't get this, but it doesn't matter if I get this or not. I just had to know that this is what people like care about right now. Sure. And it's all that fucking matters, right? And I was like in I was deep in this fucking lair cake, uh, you know, <laughs> stiff arming Daniel Craig, stiff arming fucking Sienna Miller. Donnie and Brasco. Donnie and <laughs> Donnie Jimmy. <Brasco. laughs> great. Great. Another great movie that I highly recommend. Yeah, no, I, I Pacino I, I and fucking Johnny Depp. Depp. Um and I was just like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't know what this is, but it's fine. And I'm not going to fucking follow all these people. I followed Honor. I got a bunch of fucking weird. Uh, Honor's weird. IG is, is skizzed out. Dude. I fought a bunch of skizzed out accounts, like, followed me back, and it was fucking chopped as hell. Oh, like, and, white white Hunter Biden, that guy? Yeah, I got a couple of those, too, yeah. Yeah. Just they were like, the, what's throwing fits? So they're exactly. going to be very disappointed. Because we're not chopped. We're not quirked. Well, we, we're we kind of based. I you, we both said the, each we each said an R word. Yeah, we, we have based. our own R words. Uh, <laughs> see, I, as long as we're not there, we're trying to be like, "What's up, my fellow choppers?" Like it will be fine, <laughs> Lawrence. We're gonna be okay. As All long right? as we don't go you NLE chopper fucking, mode. You had a great fucking time last time. We met Shy from we met Shy and Alex from Shy's right. Burgers. That's right? right. Absolutely. So like, think of the fucking beautiful connections. Austin we can make. from Cowboy Coffee, right? Austin we already knew Fulio. Which but I don't remember meeting him, but he was like, "Yeah, we met at Gem." That was like very late. That was very late. Yeah. Um, okay, so, all right, two fun times, yeah. and then yeah, that's how we fucking if wrap you... up. That's how we wrap up Dime Square Week with we start with Goots on the pod, Goots melting down the court. Oh. Actually, it started with me on Wet Brain, then oh, Goots. We got to talk about her in the court, and again, every oh. week, it feels like every week on this has to be the new thing. This has to be the new thing. And well, I feel well before. Yeah, of course, I would love for every guest to get in the court. And speaking of playing in the fucking mud, just get down with the little piggies. But I will say that I feel like every. <laughs> 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 I feel like that was good. I feel oink like oink. I feel like every week. Oh, speaking of piggies, <laughs> Nicholas Cage vehicle. Piggies. Oh, right. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> yeah, are you okay? Jesus uh, Christ! I feel like your toenail. <laughs> Damn, you're, you're so chopped right now, bro. I feel oh, like skits. my man is fucking quirked up. <laughs> it's gonna be like the new Waz. We're just like fucking pilfering from the kids. Oh, just fucking kill your cringe, bro. They won't have Waz back in the pod because they stole everything from Waz. Their whole <laughs> thing is Waz. Um, oh, yeah, pill-pilled. baby. Um, but shout out the court. No, every week on every boys only, I feel like we keep saying if you're if you're one of the nearly thirty five hundred people that are listening, but you're not one of the two thousand in the court. What oh, are you doing, dude? Out. The cord is only getting stronger. The cord's in a great place. Yo, the barbecue was really like a tipping point. Shout for- out the mods. Shout out myself for being an active. You're chatter. such a fucking elite chatter. I don't know how you do it. Though I, you did tell me. Can I say? Can I yeah, say what you I'm said? Lonely. Lonely. <laughs> Cause I'm not da- I'm not dating anyone right now. I literally we were having lunch and you're like I'm like yo like you're fucking you're on elite chatter status and you're like yeah I'm bored I got nothing to do. <laughs> if you're bored, get in the court. So if you're at home, if you're bored, get in the court. If yes. you're bored, get in the court. Okay. <laughs> that should be our wet brain. Bro, you're too pizza. chopped, bro. You're too chopped. If you're bored, right I'm fucking choking on this. I'm having water. a lot of fun. I didn't realize it was going to be one of these. Well, it took, a, it took 30 minutes of basic rice <laughs> talk before we could. <laughs> anyway, the point, <laughs> the point is, is that the court is in an amazing place and them galvan- galvanizing around uh, Goots and the horniness that she brought out of these fucking young, well, intrepid gentlemen was I, just a sight to behold. I think this is what it is, right? Is that it's like, yo, uh, everyone judge the pod off its appearance where it's like the drunken canals Goots. Oh, the drunken canal. Oh, this is fuck, oh, this is not skitzed. Um, and then it's like, and then we were like, yo, Goots fucking rocks. Yeah. She plays ball. She plays fucking ball. However you choose to interpret, uh, this scene or fucking Essex and Canal (laughs) or whatever, like just go listen to it and give it a shot. And then people are like, yo, she kind of rules. And then it was further compounded by. Her coming, she's been in the court, right? Because she she's a worker. To, she had talked about Boris, yeah, <laughs> which is incredible. 
And so, <laughs> and then so everyone fucking rallied around it. Um, it was me uh, notifying everyone that to Venmo Goots, and then Goots dropped in. Goots. Do we know the final tally? She said on Twitter, going. "It's oh, still, still going. going." I love that. Um, I think Annie Hamilton is definitely like untouchable because somebody juiced the her most recent with three. The bills, most recent but. tier goal was to get to seventy five, which is the <laughs> price of a Le Grand oh, C. Balthazar. C. Uh, bar. Speaking of fucking Balthazar and Seafood Towers, I also think that she got set up on a date with her boy Tid, or someone set her up on a date. So that's another thing too. Who knows with these guests in the court? They're 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 being men and women of the people. Maybe you have an opportunity. Maybe it's uh, Goots Guterman fuck a fan challenge, as, as was tweeted. Um, but yeah, next week's guest Armand has Tid. already committed. Praying for you, boy. Has already committed to dropping it on the court, and that's going to be fucking yeah. And Amrit is, and honestly, like if there's ever an opportunity for horny posting to flourish even more than it already has, it is with fucking Amrit, who is a sexpert of I'll the highest order. I've been paying much more attention to the court than I have to the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics. Oh yeah, sure they suck, which fucking suck. And yo, shout out the motherland. What are the I'm, main... sorry, I'm sorry that everyone here, oh, everyone right. in the motherland, had to put up with this bullshit. My mother texted me literally. Uh, they're killing my people. <laughs> I'm like COVID ca- right before it started. Now she's like, now she's like watching everything. Right. Um, what are the main narratives? Right. The, the main, they're all negative. It's all. It's all no like, crowds. There could. There. There's no USA way this could have. There was no way this could have gone off. And like they should just fucking cancel this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No I, crowds. The USA is trash. USA obviously. is fucking Pax Americana over. It's a wrap. Um. What else? All the shit with Simone Biles. All the shit with Simone Biles. Uh, Mental health every, discourse. Everyone just come down with COVID. Yeah, Simone Biles. It's just like, and then like fucking everyone has to have a take. Have on you Simone watched Biles, any like, event at all? I no, watched. I've watched a single. Thing. I watched skateboarding because I was like, this should Very be interesting, cool. and it was. You're like, This is skits. <laughs> it, it sucked. <laughs> it was. Uh, I mean, I guess like his, whatever the historical significance. Summer Olympics. I was not, I, I, but uh, I, I, it was pretty boring to watch. I don't know if this, is a, if this is a cold take or not. But the Summer Olympics are fucking ass. Like you've said this before on the podcast. Winter Olympics are where it's at because of the danger. The elements in the Summer Olympics. You're watching a guy Man run. You're watching a guy <laughs> run. You're watching a woman jump. Someone's right. Tread water in a pool. You're you're going. You're competing against your fellow man, man or woman. In the Winter Olympics, you're fucking man mostly on hardware that yeah. enables you to travel faster Into than God wild. intended. Yeah. Right. You have to master nature and the fucking elements as well as compete against your fellow man or woman. Right. It's as just like <laughs> the speed is fucking. Like 10x, so the danger is like 100x. Yeah. I'd rather watch two dudes fucking on a frozen, you know, <laughs> uh, single piece of metal flying down a, a tube, a, a tube, an, an ice icy tube, tube. <laughs> an icy tube <laughs> at like 95 miles an hour than yeah, fucking obviously. a guy just like run or slowly. like just shooting like a that chill Russian chick who's just like sh- you know. But they're shooting like, in they're shooting in the Winter Olympics too. I mean, gy- oh, gymnastics, oh, right, 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 sure, sure, gymnastics, sure. fucking trash. Swimming's trash. Like, yeah, there's a better equivalent in the Winter Olympics for everything. In the Summer Olympics. Maybe. That might be... Not basketball. Which, honestly, right now has been a bit well, of a... Well, uh, for me, there's hockey. You know, disappointment. Right? Sure. And, and one of the biggest... I guess even, you're right. Yeah, even my hockey-hating a... friends did admit that the fucking... Uh, I guess, was it 2016? Or 2014? When it was USA versus Canada in the finals and Sidney Crosby scored in overtime. That was fucking crazy. Yeah, that's Whether you're sad. a fan of hockey or not, like, that was nuts. Sure. Um, so, anyway, let's was. talk about... So, Simone Biles, obviously, is, like, dealing with mental oh, health. Simone Biles, he's fucking trash. The, the greatest gymnast of all time. And we're not here to debate whether or not, like, she's a hero or... Well, or she is the or, goat. Or a shiro. A shiro. She is the goat, for sure. But it was, it was something that was interesting to us because we've been talking not about, like mental health necessarily but this idea of like just ta- burnout just burnout burnout and taking a break and like being like you know who are we podcasting for who are we creating content for ourselves other some combination you have expectations you want to let people down and this is an ongoing conversation that you and i this is no cap like we have no there's no kizzy we've been having <laughs> very very chopped we have, we have been having this conversation and it's interesting to kind of see not and obviously Simone Biles on a fucking talk about on a pedestal no, compared we are to fucking on a, us. Would you think so? You are the Simone Biles. But it's interesting machine. to see people's kind of knee jerk reactions in, in terms of you know if they support somebody fucking doing right by themselves. You well, know? I guess it'd be different if it was like I mean a, a like a like uh, or you know a corresponding scenario might be like if we had. I don't know, like uh, Drake was going to come on the pod, right? And right. then like one of us dropped out because oh, oh well, that right. Would, that so would like never that's happen. more of a. That's, That's the comp, like, you think? I think so. Versus I th- what you and I have been talking about is like, we simply do not know what would happen if we took a week off. And yes, we did. We had to <laughs> be due to like some fucking terrible complications with a guest bailing at the absolute 25th hour. Yeah. And then we didn't have a backup. 
which we normally would have like right. a backup. Kind and then of the in barbecue the can affecting the boys' the barbecue, only schedule the week before. Yeah. And with the barbecue, we had so much like goodwill and so much um, kind of like you know light at the end of the tunnel. Right. Where, and I've I've talked about this with the fucking Jonah of you know Vanny Fair profile BBSP. Um, <laughs> Blackbird Spy Plane. It's like what happens if you take a week off? Do people just give up on you? What are the expectations? Versus like the actual reality of like, yo, is like it's actually fucking hard to come up with all this shit all the time. It's hard to move all my fucking furniture. To, <laughs> There's my, physical labor my involved. Is, yo, should I just I have to fucking rip I, off a toenail right. next week just to? What are you doing? Oh, you're gonna do Show a whole one. You're the, gonna do a reveal. The, yeah. All right, fucking go crazy. All right, here we go. James is gonna rotate the. It sucks. I don't know if anyone. Yeah. Also, you don't it have. Sucks. <laughs> sucks. Actually, I think people could hear. Yeah. Now, now it's gonna be all fucked up. No, I think that. And and yo, know, like here's the deal. And here's here's my question to you. What would be <laughs> you okay? What would be the scenario realistically of like why we would have burnout or take a week off? The first thing that comes to mind is like, what happens if I wake up and I'm too hungover to podcast? Can I not can I not take a, a mental health day? We've been too hungover to podcast <laughs> and have taken a mental health day. Yeah. So yes, the answer is yes. Yes. All right. What would be another scenario realistically? I guess we like it, like for example, <laughs> if we do um and this might not be right. If we do like a, our, you know, our week in LA, right? We're doing fucking five pods a summer. Right. We're going to be creating pods. We might not have something to put out while we're Yeah. So if it's like, yo, we just, we just flew to LA and back and cut like five pods and they're going to roll out. Uh, are we, are we allowed to have that like week off? A buffer. To, like, just like a buffer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Prepare the rollout, kind of put all of the fucking content together. And by the way, the LA thing is happening. And have we talked about this? Finally. Hopefully. Is it happening? In no in November, I think. Well, it might not happen in November now because of uh Oh Christ, bro. You're right. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. <sighs> Cor- cool. Coronavirus. Um yeah, I don't know. What are some other scenarios? I guess it's really Is it, what if we just like wanted to go on vacation? Like do oh, you and I have to go on right. do we have to take the same what time off? What are you doing, off? by the way? Where are you <laughs> I'm gonna fix the all video. Right, go. Do we have to take the same time off, and do we have to go to avoid all internet issues? Do you and I have to go, go on, on the same vacation together? <laughs> Which, honestly, I'd be down for, because no, like, I'd be out having a fucking blast. You'd be at home like getting, I don't know, like reading with your wife or something? Yeah, shit. I'd be playing <laughs> on my phone at the pool like a fucking, like, a, like a, a, the teen in white, the white lotus. <laughs> yeah. Not very chopped of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, going on vacation. You know, I can't wait to see Sydney Sweeney in the white lotus go, oh, so skitzed. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... Oh, uh, which one is who's Sydney Sweeney? Is that the uh, from Euphoria? What, oh, the wife, blonde, the actual daughter, not the friend. She's fucking hot, dude. Uh, she's I'll, very hot. I'll send you some links later. Whoa! Oh, because in Euphoria, titties out. Yeah, which is cool because well, that show rock. Can we just agree, best show on TV right now, probably right. Yeah, but I was going to talk about Euphoria uh, and titties, and yeah. it was cool because Sydney um, Sweeney is her name. Yeah, um, and she's really she's like really cool. She like has a good personality, like dresses well and everything. Um, somebody threatened to leak her nudes, and she's like, what? Mo- she goes, "Motherfucker, HBO already did," <laughs> and then and then posted like all the nudes. Damn, sound like from Goots. Her. Or, yeah, uh, exactly. No, actually, not Goots. It was uh, or kind of Goots, but also Amrit talked about. Yeah, it. We've been, honestly, dude, we're a little bit like on call, her call on our caller daddy <laughs> shit, like a little bit, you know. Just I was thinking about that every week. Which your sex sells, bro? Every week, just two hours out of our slow though, holes. Though I don't want to get the reputation of being like the go on the pod with these two 35 year old guys and talk, talk about, about your pussy and cheeks and sucking and fuck you don't have to talk about your pussy if you don't want to right oh of course you never force anyone but anyway it's uh, like <laughs> sign this sign this uh pussy form yeah if you want if you want like the fucking above the ears mustard fucking takes on the white lotus read uh friend of the pod nomi fries yeah. deep dive essay but honestly bro fucking honestly much like life Dark comedies for me, that's truth, bro. Yeah. And I and I love the good with the bad and the great characters, great writing. Yo, it's the Renaissance. Oh no, uh, the Steve Zahn, the Steve Zahnaissance. Renaissance is better. Oh, okay. It's a little more subtle. Wait, can I, <laughs> can I tell you something really embarrassing? Can I tell you something really, yeah, something really embarrassing? Um, so on family trips, I've gone to maybe like two of these types of resorts, or whatever. Mm-hmm. One in Belize, and then I think we went to Cancun, Mexico. But it was like the how week, old were you? Like. Not the girl, like high, like middle school, high school. So the like the brother, the younger brother, because yeah. those girls are in college. Yeah, but pre pre reading pre fucking on the theory. Phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, when I was in college, though, I had a creative writing short stories class, <laughs> and I wrote a short story about a resort in Jamaica. Um, put and this, it was about put this on Patreon, bro. Was uh, it good? If, yo, if I can find it. If I can find it, I might put it on Patreon. Have we talked about how we? Because I also did a bunch of creative writing. But it was exactly We're this. Creative guys. It was exactly this uh, context, right? Did Where someone like, die? Uh, 
I don't remember, but it was like grand opening. It was the grand opening of like the new fucking luxury resort. And I think it was Jamaica. It might have been like a Caribbean island. And then like a fucking white family comes and like right. their prejudice and racism comes out. I mean, I love this type of scenario. It's, it's Downton Abbey. It's, you know, upstairs, downstairs. It's fu- yep. forgetting Sarah Marshall. Sure, sure. A hundred percent. Absolutely. Starring our boy. Yeah. Jonah Feldstein. Russell Brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, this is definitely the best show on TV. It's funny. It's like yeah. weirdly sexy. Uh, it's great. What else are you watching? It's that dark. You, let's let's talk some more. So you saw Pig, saw saw Pig by myself, in the in the theaters. A little, uh, a little chomper. Um, 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 um. Did, did you go to uh, not Alamo? You would Nighthawk. have gone to Nighthawk. Yeah. So you get like a little drinky drink. Got too? a little Faro Bowl and the Holy Holy Chicken. It was not good. Look at the Faro Bowl at the movies, bro. Because I'm trying to. Eat, my goal is to eat healthy Monday through Friday lunch. Right. When did you go to the movies? Wednesday night? Oh, so it's like yeah, I could get you a were... cheeseburger or a fried chicken sandwich or a fucking farro bowl and chicken skewers. <laughs> Can't believe you got a farro bowl and a movies. glass of Malbec. <laughs> the farro bowl is actually better than Damn. the fucking chicken. Damn, um, put your tummy in a sarcophagus, bro. <laughs> I love Nick Cage. <laughs> But yeah, of course. We are. This is the most pro Nick Cage pod that is ever going to exist until Nick Cage does his own podcast. The best thing about these fucking art house theaters is that, well, I think they do it at Elmo. They do it at Nighthawk, where they do these like obviously like kind of like the staff chops and screws up their the pre- repertoire the and their stuff, fucking filmography. Yeah. yeah. Um. So they're just like Nick Cage commercials. Their from- repertoire. Is that right? Whatever. Anyway, it's like they take a, a com- like a <laughs> Japanese commercial from like '89. Nick Cage yeah, like yeah. selling like a pachinko machine. Suntory time. And s- Racist and, <laughs> and R word and uh, chop it up with they chopped it with the fucking you know like some roll and I guess like there's a bad funny scene in Community where um what's the 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 brown Ab- the brown Abed? name yeah Abed yeah Abed Abed I think and our girl Gillian Jacobs is in there and he uh, apparently like put he puts together a whole fucking folder of, like he's like I watched every Nick Cage movie oh! and just like Nick Cage is out for like thirty seconds sure. Fire. Um, and I'm Nick like, Cage is the best. I'm not that familiar. I've not watched Nick Cage's repertoire. May- that might be a little fucking summer. Have you done Snake Eyes? No, none oh, of it, bro. You gotta do Snake Eyes. None of the 80, right now. None of the '80s shit. None of like the early '90s shit. So like, I gotta, I gotta. You've fucking- seen Con Air? Yes. So all that shit when he became the biggest action star. The Rock, America. Con Air, the Rock is okay. fire. Con Have you Air, seen Air, Leaving Las off. Vegas? When he no, went- oh my- no, that's what I'm saying. It's the greatest drunk performance of all. It's such a good drunk performance that he won an Academy Award. Uh, yeah, I mean, I want to do this. In Raising this Arizona? Be, no, bro. And this oh, is going to be... Also, you have the worst taste in fucking movies. Well, dude. I've never seen the classics. I've never seen the classics. Because I'm, I'm just too busy on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, so, okay, back to Pig. Recommended? Highly recommended. It is not the movie you think it's going to be. Which is what? It is John not Wick. John what are people Wick saying? With John Wick and Pig? <laughs> it is, that's how they sell it, clearly. Pig Wick. <laughs> John Pig. <laughs> um, it's about, like... Human relationships like between like a father son. There's a fucking secret fight club element to it. Um, okay, no spoilers, but no spoilers. Uh, so you were pleasantly it's, it's surprised. Like, it's like it. It's weirdly has like a lot of like kind of like very intense like food scenes. Oh right? shit! Oh, because it's a truffle pig, right? Is the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It's, and Nick Cage just looks fucking awesome. I mean, he's huge, but like not in like a. I'm not calling him fat. I'm saying he has like a huge presence. Oh right. He's like he's... crazy hair, crazy beard, big fucking belly. He's wearing. He People are like, saying um, he's back. People are saying because he hasn't really gotten good reviews since Mandy. Did you see Mandy? No, I it came out no, a couple years Cage ago. So- I feel yeah. like the Cage Sans was <laughs> happening, and then like this is kind of like the fe- the you know the feather on top or the feather in the cap. Yeah, I wonder if he'll do because people are saying that there's like some Oscar buzz. Obviously, the movie's killing it on Rotten Tomatoes, which honestly is not even like a I don't think is like a, a way to necessarily judge movies for the most part. But uh, all right, I guess I got to see it. So and you went by yourself because yo, dude, it's so funny because not so funny, but uh, after the barbecue. That Sunday. When, when you were I, wasted, you went to the movies? No, no, no. I was like fucked up, and Jen and I ended up, or I was watching Space Jam, A New Legacy, and she oh like God, tapped why? in and out. But I tried to convince her to go to the movies that night. To see Space Jam? I watched it. It sucked. No, you want to see it in theaters? No, no, no. I was watching it on HBO, but I was like, oh, we should go to the movies, and I don't even know what I wanted to see. Yeah. But she like definitely dubbed me, and that I've talked about this before, I think, where like I have to really twist her arm, even though it is like something that I truly love. And I'm just like, yo, I just need to go back to the movie. I just gotta go by myself. Like I just should go. Yeah. But what for me, mo- it's Alamo is the closest theater, and I don't want to fucking pay and 
I want to just well, you don't go have to, to eat and drink. You no, just, I know, like, but not, I would rather the just. The only go. other guy in the theater by himself was sitting next at the table next to me, and he didn't buy a single uh, food or drink. I just no popcorn it, even. No, I saw it at dinner time, so I was like, I'm gonna get sure. Uh, this is gonna be my dinner. Yeah, I guess I could go to Bam, which is more like just a normal theater, but. Yeah, I guess I miss when I lived on Upper West Side, there was an AMC and anytime Jenna would go out of town for anything, I would like do like I'd be like every plan for the next three days I'm going to the movies like three days in a row. I don't going, do that anymore. going to the movies by yourself is one of these things where like it ta- like once you it's you feel like a fucking loser, right? No, but I don't No no no, no. listen, listen. That's the, not the whole, true. Listen, the concept is that you're a fucking loser, but once you break through that and you actually do it. Then you realize that it's actually fire. Yeah, it's and that the it's best way to do it. The idea, it is the ideal way I to watch so. a movie because, like, you don't need to watch a movie with anyone. I hate even if I'm with someone, I hate talking during the fucking um, no, like never. commercials and trailers because it's like so quiet. Everyone can fucking hear what you're saying. Everyone's yeah. listening. It's the same shit as like being on a plane. You don't have to like sit next to your partner or homie on the plane. Like right. you're not going to talk. I think people treat. Uh, going to the movies alone, like in this, or it's stigmatized in this weird way of like traveling alone, which is like not. Well, I'm traveling sure. alone is a different thing, but I think like have it, you ever it, traveled alone for work? That's about it. Oh, um, but but in terms of like this idea of like normalizing going to the movies alone, like it sucks that society is telling you that you're on like Joker mode, bro, or something. When it's well, like, you shouldn't see the Joker by yourself <laughs> or Joker by yourself. You will be you will be potentially arrested. Yeah, people will try to make friends with you just in case. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, just uh, covering all my bases. No, and I think that. You but I texted ha- I texted friends. I was like, Yo, does anyone last minute want to go to this movie tonight? Like the, the few friends that live in the area, I was like, Yo, does anyone want to go to this movie tonight? Girlies? No, this horny storm of all time is a fucking Jimmy's taking a big L, which we'll maybe get into. Um, yeah, we were we're at like an hour, we're almost at an hour, so I don't know. Should so we save this for next week. This I don't know. Like, dude. Well, so when your, none of your friends wanted to go, they were like, "Oh, I'm seeing that this weekend." One, and you then, still but, tried to friends. get company versus just being like, "I'm going by myself." Well, I was like, "Yo, throwing this out there," but I'd already like you I was being like, a good friends. I was like, I had the site open. I was like, "Yo, there's there's seats available, front row." But in these art house theaters, it's not yeah, that the, big. The, the screens so are fine. small. Yeah, that's not um, issue I just saw the fucking pig up and close. Yo, that's worth the ten dollar price admission alone um, for all you big gang tiers. So anyway, you would recommend it, recommend it, and then but then, okay. So I texted out a bunch of friends, and I was like, oh, I, I pitched tonight actually. I was like, because I want to see Green Knight. I, I heard like, Green Knight any- is. Well, I heard you have to be very high. Oh well, or you'll you feel very high. Yeah, exactly. Pop a little off a of bean. Ooh, I might do five milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> But I was like, yo, I didn't want to go Thursday. And friends were like, oh, I'm out of town. Oh, I'm seeing Green out on Saturday. And then I was like, uh, oh, fuck it. I just bought a ticket for Pig tonight. And then one friend was like, yo, I'm in town. I'm what time was tomorrow, your showing? 720. You- I'm leaving tomorrow. I could have gone tonight. And I was like, oh, sorry. Cool. Bro. Subject change. Because I was like, damn, I want to go by myself. Once you pull the trigger, you're like, I'm look- you're like looking forward to it. Yeah. I just want to sit in the dark by myself. So like you, like went, you did like seven to nine. And it's like, whatever. Yeah. And lovely walk there. Lovely walk home. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, it was great. Definitely oh, go see I movies th- by yourself. I think the Thrill Gang should should use this as inspiration when the next time they're making plans. Yeah. Uh, are we talking about the horny summer of all time? No, wait. Was there anything else? We should talk We should talk Woodstock 99. Bro. So yeah, I as, think- as a white man, this is your fucking... <laughs> this is your apocalypse now? Like, this is your godfather? <laughs> no, this is my Throng Fitz. It was Throng Fitz barbecue before Throng Fitz barbecue. <laughs> yeah. No, I thought... All right, yo. And yo, shout out fucking Sean Fennessy. Fucking not like a friend of the program, but like someone that I've met before. Well, was he involved with it? Who I appreciate. Yeah, bro. He's fucking the. He's. Oh, it was like a Bill. F- no, it's Simmons. It's a production. Ringer production, right? This is the new shit that's. Which is ironic because you know Bill Simmons is out there groping in 99. <laughs> that's a big fucking. You know he claim. was there fucking groping. I don't know about that. My point is this. And shout out fucking Sean Fantasy. I'm even like probably. Because like the Ringer is a bit like lamestream. And shout out Shay. Oh, there's no Ringer selectuals? Shout out. F- <laughs> Shout out fucking Chris Ryan, my fucking guy, dude. Gabe said we're into movements. Um, I thought this was such a fucking sanctimonious, like annoying thing to watch. That and listen, I'm not condoning sexual assault. I'm also not condoning Moby. Get Moby yeah, the yeah. fuck <laughs> out of here. And I'm not. Con- and I understand that it it was a bit- Moby. You can get beat up by Obi. <laughs> and I guess Wesley Morris did have like. And I'm not gonna say the next line. <laughs> Wesley Morris did have the good fucking point where it's like, nobody this- listens to techno. Now let's go. But- is that the outro music, Eminem? I Yo, are you team Eminem know. now? No, bro. Fuck Eminem. No. Well, Who's now be- the number one selling rapper of all time? It's going to be Limp Biscuit. Oh, yes. Absolutely. We should do Limp Biscuit. Uh, but we should, let's decide what Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. What's all we want to do, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Wesley Morris made the great point that it was like before fucking chat rooms and Reddit and the fucking insurrection. Like this was like where a bunch of like white dudes went to like get fucking brolic and blow off some steam. But like, blow off some, is that what you call it? <laughs> but 
I I just I just thought the tone was extremely condescending and sorry white man and new metal was given zero respect as a fucking transformative genre for like the latter half of a decade. It's something now that is a punchline, but like was a driving cultural force. I mean, like we still we have tickets to see Rage. Yeah, like let's not pre- and obviously Rage is not Rage is Rage. Rage is Rage. But like I don't know. I thought it was extremely fucking sanctimonious and self serving, and I left Whoa, it. I see, I, Okay, I didn't I didn't see that. Well, the Moby shit, yes. And the people trying to like blame the artists on like, you know, uh mass shootings on it. That was very like, Right, right, right. That was very yeah. much like a 90s. Yeah, blaming thing. Limp Bizkit for people like getting drunk. Like it's not their fault. And it's like we should Or be the asking, chili peppers who suck, like, by the way. I hate the chili peppers. Really? Oh, I hate the red hot Flea chili rules. peppers. He's a big dick. He's got a big dick. He's well, I wouldn't even say it's a big dick. I think it was, but it's just you, No, it's gotta be big if you go out there in front of hundreds of thousands of people and you don't shrink up, or if that's what shriveled up is, because you know he has crazy adrenaline going, which right. uh, puts oh. your dick in your belly. Right. Kind of like when you do a little bit of that, you know? Yeah. Ever happened to you? <laughs> Every time, brother. <laughs> and, then, and then also, I thought what's interesting is like... That's, the, what, they, that's what pushes out the shit. <laughs> I thought that... It's it's like like goes what, up in your belly. That's just science, dude. Because um, they used to wear the socks on their cocks. Yeah, the cock socks. And then I guess at a certain point, Flea just went would go cock that was, I think that was more like mid-90s. Oh, that was the the earlier. Yeah, that was that was the heady. That stuff. When he was rapping, the deep cuts. When uh, Anthony what I got to get to the yoga. <laughs> um, all right, here's what I'll say. Okay, tell us Six what you thought of the Yes, time. but I think that the horror of watching every like detail and give and me something to break. That I mean, first of all, the footage was just crazy, right? Seeing that many I people. See, I want to see more performance. It's all on YouTube. Footage. It's all on YouTube. No, I know. I told you that I, I, I an me and John W interviewed DMX, right. which we should have. Oh my God, we could have sold this footage to Bill Simmons, groping ass. Right. Fuck. <laughs> We're gonna get sued, bro. Where he was very much like you could not see the end of people. Right. It was the most people. It was the hottest. He talked about the heat. Right. He talked about the amount of people. Uh, he talked about shit getting thrown up on stage. Although he was early. When you talked to DMX, talked did, the did he have an opinion on all these white people saying the N word back to him? Because no, like, because he was in and out. And I wonder if like, because this whole thing where like everyone like they're all the talking heads are like you know kind of signaling that as like this kind of you know this. It's like, what does DMX think? Does he care? But also that's like, I know that's it's wrong. Still, but like, does, does DMX give a shit? He's probably like, this is the best show he ever did in his life. It's also like that still happens at every rap concert. Yes, right? like exactly. you're gonna have white people screaming the n-word yeah, back it, the artist. But I guess their thing was it's not the tone. Whatever the sanctimonious is. Yes, I I understand what you're saying. To me, it was literally scary to see like that many white men in one place. Like. I was like, this is fucking You would have scary. code switched. You would have yeah. code switched What's so up? quick. <laughs> What's up? What up? My, I'm fucking horny Jimmy. I got my khakis on. Oh, the Limp Biscuit being like, shove your Birkin stocks up your ass. Yeah, that kind of sucked. That, <laughs> no, no, that, no, it sucked because we were at Burks, but it rocked that he said that. In my okay, opinion. I guess like every single detail, and I knew about it, right? I knew that there was like mad sexual assaults. I knew that it was like yeah, new metal. It was just like very angry. There were riots. I didn't know it was like they set the whole fucking place on fire. Yeah. But it was like every detail that they tell you, and I'm not a festival guy. I went to Coachella. No. The only festival I've been to, I, well, I went to GovBall. No, uh, yeah, I guess it was GovBall. I went to Panorama one time to see Frank Ocean. I went to I GovBall really go where yeah. it was MF Doom and Rage mm. and Wu-Tang. Sick. Rage and Wu-Tang were co-headlining. Um, and it rained like crazy and like people were just like pissing and shitting everywhere, which is exactly what happened in 99. Every single little detail was like a further descent into like another, the layer cake, bro. Another yeah. circle of hell. Imagine trying Welcome to fucking- Welcome to the layer cake. Imagine trying to sleep in your tent oh, and it's no, 150 I mean, degrees out no. and you just have these fucking pilled out zombies just banging on garbage cans yeah, for that's 72 hours straight yeah, that sucks. with no rhythm or anything, just sure, banging just, it. just making noise. Or like- I didn't realize that they I were thought very, very chopped and skizzed. I, I thought up. the mud was just mud. I didn't know it was like human, oh, human fucking feces, shit. Yeah, just eating it, just pissing shit. Uh, yeah. Imagine the fucking barbecue, but like the the that wasn't like mud. It was like pissing shit. By the yeah, by, I didn't realize too the that game. they booked like the the women being booked and then like evenly placed out like Jewel, Cheryl Crow, and Alanis like one each day is yeah. pretty funny. It's like moment. so transparently like. You know, they're like, we don't know, like, we're not selling tickets to, yeah. you know, to I mean, the female, one, for the one female promoter, acts. The one promoter came off as the absolute villain, like, fuck that guy. Yeah, and he yeah, was yeah. the guy that was like, Fred Durst, like, set all these people off. It's like, no, motherfucker. Yeah. No, motherfucker, you did. <laughs> yeah, it's your problem, bro. This <laughs> Shove is your you purse did. up your ass. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, and he was also like, oh, it wasn't hundreds of women being raped. It was only tens <laughs> of women being raped. And they should have been walking around with their titties out. It's like, yeah, bro, you he's can. He's victim blaming. Yeah. <laughs> you can have your titties out. And not and well, never mind. You can have your t- <laughs> you can, you can have your cake and you can eat it too. You can have your titties out and not be sexually assaulted. If right. you've learned anything from this episode, it's that. Um, I don't know. I thought it was a great documentary. Period. 
the sanctimonious tone, I just like chose to ignore that stuff and just thought that it was like a fire. It was like very well done. The okay. way that like, it went through chronologically, the way that the fucking tension built, and then every detail, you're just like, oh my God. Yeah. This is fucking a descent horrifying. Into, a descent into madness. I will say, too, I didn't realize, because as much as I like M of both of, of either of us, probably more of like the classic rock guy, I didn't even know like the dark history of like the original Woodstock either, because it is painted in this way oh, that yeah, is yeah, like, same, yeah. peace, love, and happiness, yeah. bro. And Jimi Hendrix, he's fucking, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. playing the national anthem. I didn't realize Yo, that that thing? also was a fucking disaster. Okay, the corniest <laughs> thing I thought was in white. Clef tried to play the national anthem a la Oh, Jimmy. that was whack. It was so bad, and then he tried to light his guitar on fire a la Jimmy. Not at Woodstock, though. Jimmy in, like, Monterey. Oh, okay. Si- Monterey 68, and... He got it wrong. He got the he festival wrong. He fucking failed miserably, <laughs> yeah. and the one dude was, was just like, like... trying to do the lighter uh, food? Yeah, that was that so was, bad. So that was Wyclef post Fuji's. That was him in the Refugee All-Stars, right? Yeah, 99. And what what what, what was... They gone to November is a slap, but, like, honestly, like, Wyclef... Uh, yeah, I'm not the paying fucking, to the, see. The, fu- the Bee Gees cover? What was that? The Bee Gees cover? Staying alive. Wyclef Jean covered the Bee Gees? Bro. I'm not familiar. Uh, 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 uh. Well, you can tell by the way I walk. Shorty knows that I'm a ladies' man. <laughs> a businessman. Maybe that's the outro music. I don't know, dude. I think we should go with Limp Biscuit. Do you have a favorite Limp Biscuit song? Let's talk off mic, because there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, shout out fucking Wes Borland. You know shout out Fred Durst. You know fr- and like, shout out DJ Lethal. How do you feel about your fandom of like Corn and Limp Biscuit? I assume that you're also a Corn fan. Like, no, never, how do you feel about it now? Never was really into Corn. I always, I mean, I was obsessed. I'm not obsessed with Limp Biscuit. I like Limp Biscuit. Um, I don't know, dude. I'm not like. Like the fact that like you would even ask me that question is kind of like that's the tone that bothered me. It's like we're literally it's like blaming Marilyn Manson for Columbine. Well, my it's thing like, was what the fuck my are we thing doing was, was like the music slap. Then I was like a huge fan, but I will like if a Limp Bizkit song comes on now or even Corn. First of all, great karaoke songs. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'll fucking bang out. I'll fucking chop out. Yeah, but. I guess I never really knew like Fred Durst and watching him being like like him on stage and being very like beady eyed. This little fucking he was being a little shit. To He's me. a troll. He was not, a troll. Yeah, not in a way where he was just fucking lame. He was like, oh, ah, yeah, that, that plywood stuff is dope. Like that was whatever. Just a fucking. I don't know. He was that, the whole thing with Fred Durst that, is yo, like you saw, you saw the photo he posted now where he just like, yeah, Park yeah, Slope, yeah Park Slope dad with hand tattoos. Yeah, that's well. He's a he he's a movie director. Every a movie with Travolta recently or my thing was just like a year yo ago or something. Excuse me. If you're 22 in 99, that means that that was 22 years ago. Yo, so you're now 44. Fucking my boy, you know, Greg Zamfotis, Greg was there. I told him to watch it because he was at Woodstock 99. Wow. So I was like, bro, you need to watch this and like see what, you you know, if it, if it reminds you of my what barber, it was like. My barber, Paul, and we talked about it um, when I was getting a, a chop chop. Um, he was like, yo, all my friends went. I didn't go. Damn. I was like, this is going to be a terrible time. He was, right. fucking, he was right. He was right. I guess I'll just steal the story, whatever. Shut up, Paul. Um, go to Mildred. He was like, yo, some guy uh, asked the craziest, hottest girl in the high school. They just graduated high school mm-hmm. if she wanted to go. And she was like so crazy and so hot that like no one ever hooked up with her. And sure. he's like, fuck it. Like we're graduating. She's so unattainable. Exactly. Right. Hot, whatever. I'll just call her hot girl because I don't want to say her name. Um, <laughs> ask hot girl. They go up there. They're like sleeping in the same tent. Nothing's happened yet. She goes out like to take one of the fucking group showers or find like yo. F- imagine losing your friend and you don't have a phone. Yeah, no, don't, that like, was find your, that find was your actually the craziest center. thing. Where it was like, damn, like yeah, how do you get in touch with somebody? I mean, even at Coachella, the one time I was there, there's no phone service. There's Uh-oh. no phone service. Like this is like six years ago. Sure. So if you, I, I lost narked out a few times and we just had to like wander around. Luckily, yeah. we were both VIP. VIP max thing. You know. All right, so um, hot girl leaves. Paul's homie is like, yo, I gotta take a shit so bad. <laughs> The bathrooms are like yeah. flood at this point, like a mile They're and a half un- away. Unusable. He shits in a Doritos bag. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Finishes in the Doritos bag. Something else happens where he fucking is distracted, leaves the Doritos no. bag like down. Hot Liz comes back later and is like, "What?" You this? said her name. Oh fuck! Whatever. <laughs> uh, this, this. <laughs> And this man's been eating like festival food for two days. Sure, and, like, I can't even and imagine how drugs. sloppy that turtle is. Just fucking was. has been baking, yeah, baking in the tent. Oh. Um, and hot, hot girl Liz is just like, <laughs> oh my fuck, like what the fuck? And then obviously like, that's he st- that's that still comes up. That story still comes up because he day. blew it so hard. And when he had this golden ticket, he blew his ass out in a Doritos yeah, bag damn. and then baked it. Uh, Shout out Paul's it. friend. Shout out Hot Liz. <laughs> I guess that's a great way to do that. <laughs> two turns passing in the night. Um, <laughs> this has been Throwing Fits, the only podcast in my very, very chopped, very quirked, okay, right, very right, skizzed right. episode. Uh, no title options, I don't think. Bits and bobs. Yeah, uh, bits. Shit, in, shit in the Trudeau's bag. <laughs> bits, bits and bobs. 
Um, yeah. Uh, fun pod next week. A little caller daddy type energy. Yeah, with uh, fucking, with Amrit. We're not like asking the the technicalities. Of also, the new pushing. version of caller daddy. I think in the post. Did you listen? So no, but what I understand is it's much more about like mental health and maybe like less. She's gonna have. A, she's probably gonna get Simone Biles, right? Less uh, <laughs> bar stooly. I'm honestly at this point like, what's the bigger? Pl- that's the biggest platform next to Rogan, right? So I mean, shit. I guess so. so. If, you want, if Simone wants to get her story out there, you already know. Talk to our girl, fucking Alexandra Cooper, <laughs> um, like DB Cooper. All right, all right chef. we're gonna hit some limp biscuit, I guess. All right, we'll check you guys next week.